she could spot the next viral trend before everyone else and actually make money from it? In this video, I'll show you a secret perplexity workflow that lets you uncover trending topics and products before they blow up so you can create content that gets views, clicks, and cash, hopefully. Ready to stop guessing and start winning? Let's dive in. In my previous video, I showed you how to get a perplexity pro account by using the app on the PC for seven days straight. I don't know how long you're going to be doing that or if this is a limited time thing. So just go ahead and tech, check out that video, click the link and just go for it. Seven days to get a free perplexity pro account is not a bad deal. Now, with regards to what perplexity is good for, it's good for a lot of things. A lot of people are talking about ChatGPT and some extent Claude and uh, Gemini. And I mean, and Meta, those, those are really good applications, but Perplexity is actually one of the better ones as well. You, um, you have actually access to Claude's model, you have access to GPT 4.1, and you have access to Gemini. You don't have the experience of it, but you do have access to the models in Perplex Pro. Now, one of the ways that a lot of people who may be trying to figure out, like, what are trending products that I can create contents around, you know, you go to these lists and it winds up being like the lists are a little bit out of date, but you can actually use Perplexy's research to give you trending topics before they become trending. These are, of course, nothing is guaranteed, but in this case, you're talking about having it analyze the social media and the trends and, the, and all the different um, internet sites and take a look at maybe some conversations about certain products that you may not have realized. So let's go into a process in Perplexity, how to find a trending topic to create content around. Now to create a perplexing space, you just basically go into the spaces part and you click on the plus sign. Here you have, this is a very important screen because here's how you're going to dictate how the AI avatar or assistant is going to help now, a lot of people kind of just go and put in the name and that's it. But I'm going to actually walk you through how to do this properly. So, of course, you create a name in the space. Let's go ahead and create a space. Say, I want to create, um, you know, find trending content. Comments, right? And you can put in a description like, you know, this is going to help me. On find trend topics that I can create contest. And it's basically just describing what it is. This part right here is the most important part because what you're going to do is you're going to actually give the AI instructions on, on how to do the research and how to speak to you on how to present you with ideas, how to brainstorm. This part right here is essential. What you're going to do, well, I'm going to actually give you guys, and this is going to be downloadable, I'm going to give you guys a template that I use, or I am using actually, to train the AI how, about how I want to actually discover and how I want to go about finding out these trending top. So let me go ahead and grab that. So here I have a detailed, a very, very detailed prompt that I will be putting into the custom instructions. I'm calling this the trend scope and I'll analyst. You can call it whatever you want. I'll give you the template for you to download. And you can go ahead and um, give it as many as, as detailed instructions on the core instructions, on uh, output format, on the risk analysis. Now, admit it, for some people, this may be a little bit more technical. Again, this is a template that you can actually edit as needed. Go into the actual space, edit the custom instructions as needed. So let me go ahead and copy that in here. Now, one of the first things that you'll find is that I actually go through and I say, you know, I'm going to ask you for the content niche and all this stuff. So I'm going to go through and we're going to save that. So now we have created the templates. That is the custom instructions. Now we're going to go ahead and create threads. Now, within this space, you can have as many threads as you want. You can have a thread for each different topic. 
but the custom instruction will apply for all events. So for this one, let's go ahead and say, I want you to help me find trending topic that I can create hot to found. It's right now as, as I'm doing this, it's June. It's actually it's called July. And I need topics that for products or for products or services that people will want. Right? I can't spell people will want. Great. So it's going through all of us. And, and just an FYI, this is a Perplexity Pro uh, account. I don't know that it's fully available in the free account. So you may want to go ahead and either go through the seven days on your laptop to get the Pro account or just pay, I think it was $20 for the Pro account. I think it's totally worth it because you can do so much with it. Hey, welcome to the Liver Action. Can you please tell me primary niche, preferred sources, monetization method? Primary content. Um, right now, DIY is actually pretty hot. DIY home is basically my, you know, my niche preferred data sources. I don't have any preferred data sources. Give me the spelling. And monetization methods. I haven't gotten an idea yet. That's why I'm happy. I don't know do it yet. That's my... Using. So it's going to go through, and when you're on the pro account, it actually gives you unlimited, I think it's like 600 pro queries, whereas if you are on the free account, you only get five per day. Which, if you're going through something like this, you're going to need as much as you can. Okay, so here's what it comes up with. It says sustainable, cozy, upgrade, and it's come up with all these different, it comes up with the actual audience demographics, any kind of content, for example, so see the textured walls and see the tutorials to add on top when adding wallpaper. And all the different opportunities, including tangential opportunities. Now, I put this in here specifically because maybe if you, somebody have like, um, you know, integrated outdoor living, you may want to talk about, you know, buying like one of those really fancy or one of those really simple egg-shaped sprills for outside. So something that would be relevant and that could also be trending. And so I have here micro homesteading is actually a very hot niche right now for anybody who's in this space. Family and kid-friendly DIY projects. And then you have, you know, controversy factors. It gives you the risk analysis. So you're, you're, you go into this aware. And then you have white space opportunities, uh, launch planners, templates, Anything that you can do and actually using leveraging affiliate programs for monetization, content gaps, um, and actionable recommendations. So it's asking you if you want to do a deeper dive into any subtopic. And this is where you say yes. But again, this is one of the reasons why Perplexity is one of the strongest AI platforms. And not very many people are talking about it, which is just fine. But you now know how to go ahead and set up a space properly so that you can maximize the effectiveness of this buy. You can come up with topics that will help you SEO. You can come up with topics that will help you actually monetize your platforms. And these will be trending topics while, you know, it may not be for June or July or whenever, but if you actually start early enough, say for Christmas or actually say Halloween, now is when to start for Halloween because by the time the trench for Halloween start pick up, that's when you'll be in. So think about using perplexity to help you to really level up your content creation and to find trending topics and stuff that'll help you become a monetizing creative. All right. Thanks for your time and look forward to more of these videos. I'll see you in the next one.